Nice smooth operation. And there's my load. Super cool. In this video, I'm going to provide a solution for replacing the meter in this Tenma model 72-1095 Variac. So unfortunately, this meter opened up during shipping. The internal coil is bad and there's absolutely no way to find this replacement meter. But I'll give you a solution and it's actually going to improve the performance of this Variac. So another thing that people don't like about this model Variac are these output switches. There's one for volts and one for amps and that selects the scale on the meter. These switches become intermittent and you can't use your meter anymore. So this solution that I'm going to give you will take care of this problem and the open meter. And what is that solution? We're going to install a pair of meters. These are Simpson model 1257s. They're approximately two and a half inches square. I am going to add a voltmeter and an amp meter to the front panel of this Variac. Now keep in mind this is my Variac, okay? So it will be in my shop. I prefer to have independent meters without having to touch the switches so I can see everything that's going on at the same time. So we're going to install these. So the meters will mount side by side in this rectangular opening. So I will have to open them up slightly to allow the back of the housing to slide in and get the mounting hardware on. But luckily, I have the template. This is the actual template that came with a meter. So I can use that to get everything precise. So I'm going to mount the first one and then we'll open up the face to get the second one in. Okay, using the template, I just cut the bottom of this rectangular opening. I left the top, had to make a slight notch over here, but the meter now slides. And that meter drops right into place. Square, it really came out nice. Now for the hard work, I need to open the panel up to accommodate the next meter. So I'm gonna reuse the template. I'm gonna be careful and come across keeping this line true open the bottom and that meter should slide right in. So I've got the second cutout for the meter completed. Luckily I had this Greenly 2 and 8 inch punch so that did a lot of work for me and then I just took my Dremel tool trued things up. This guy goes right in there. It's going to look like a million bucks. So next I need to clean things up and get the wiring done I'll show you that. So first we'll just check the voltmeter. So what I've done, swung around the back, I just put a jumper wire off the outlet and I grabbed the neutral that came off the board. Turn around here. And there she is. So the voltmeter is working. Now we just need to get the amp meter in series. All right, I have jumped in the amp meter for testing. Bring up the voltage. 120 volts. I'm using a hot air gun as a load. Let's check out the amp meter. It's working great. Alright, here is the backside wiring of the new meters. Now keep in mind the old board is still here but it's not being used anymore. I just used it for the ease of wiring. So if you look down here you see our outlet. This is the hot lead that comes up through the amp meter and then this lead actually goes to the orange lead, which is the feed off of the variac. So that's your variable AC. And then the voltmeter has the two neutrals connected to it that came off of the board and the outlet. And then this line here simply swings over and watches the variable AC going to the outlet. In the future, I'll provide a video of how to eliminate this board and we'll install a switch that will toggle between line or variac operation. Well, here is a demonstration of the variac with the new 1257 Simpson meters installed. Nice smooth operation. And there's my load. Super cool.